Hi, Motherland Moms and the entire family. Thanks for joining us again today. I see you. Um, today, we're just going to be making that beautiful socks you saw that caused you to stop. That princess socks. We're going to be using these pair of black socks. Actually, we're just going to be making one today. I got these from the dollar store. Two pairs for a dollar. And you're going to need some ribbon. This one is just the... If you see the size of it. Okay. And then you're going to need some tool. This is the 6 inch tool. That's what you're going to need. You're going to need like four toddler, which of course I'm making for um, like two yards. For toddler, you can use more, you can use less, but I prefer to just stop at two yards. And you're going to need a sewing machine. And that's about it so far. A pair of scissors. Maybe. You can even make this by hand. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can literally make this by hand. You do not need a sewing machine. You can do this by hand. I might make a video where I just do it by hand so you can see. And so you're going to cut your two, two yards of two. As you see, we're using our black tool today. And you want to cut the same two yards from your ribbon. You just want the same two yards from your ribbon. So at this point, you want to just fold your tool in the middle. Just fold it into half like you see here. Just like this. And then you're going to take your ribbon. If you have, um, like, a lighter, you can use it to burn the ends of your ribbon just to stop it from fraying. So you just want to place your ribbon, place your tool on your ribbon like this. You want to try, remember, this is the wrong side of my ribbon. This is the right side. So you want to place your tool on the wrong side of your ribbon like close to the end of your ribbon and you're going to sew just sew all the way down on a straight line until you end your two yards of ribbon and two just sew on a straight stitch so remember when you're starting to sew your your tool and ribbon together just remember to do a back stitch to lock your your stitches if you're using a machine if you're stitching by hand just tie your thread and make sure it doesn't come up so you want to cut that thread I think I cut my My tool is a couple of centimeters longer than my, my, maybe about half an inch longer than my ribbon. So I'm going to just chip that part off. Okay. So now what you want to do is to take this part. You're going to take this part of your tool. And stuff in this part. I think it's gonna be clearer from over here. Okay, there you go. So we want to take this very top part, and we kind of gonna run a stitch all the way down, just like we did when we're adding the ribbon to it. We're just gonna run this stitch all the way down, and just try to adjust your machine tension. Because you're going to be doing a more like a stitch for gathering. That's the stitch we're going to use to gather. So it has to be really slack. Very free. Just depending on your machine settings. 
maybe it's gonna be around four or five like that but just make sure to do it for gather stitch and if you're sewing by hand just just do a single needle or single thread stitch if you're sewing it by hand just do a single thread stitch all the way so you can be able to pull through to do a gather So when you sew that, do the sewing to do your form your gathers. Just make sure to leave extra thread on that end, so you'll be able to pull. Just make sure to leave extra thread on the end, and you can just take one end. I'm just trying to find one end of my thread so we can use it to pull through and form the gathers. So these socks, like I was saying, you can make them for people weddings, flower girl socks. I mean, you can make them for like kids baptismal services you can use them for dedication you use them you can sell them maybe doing kids graduation like kindergarten graduation mm. especially for us in africa the whole a whole big ceremony for kindergarten graduation you can sell make these and sell them just make arrangement with people make it same way make arrangement with people who don't weddings people who organize people weddings and stuff make arrangement with them tell them you can make flower girls socks or anglers to sell make some samples and show it to them and who knows you could just get one call, two calls, and three calls, and it's not going to be magic, though. I mean, I know somebody's saying, well, if I can buy it, why should I? If people can buy that thing for, like, $5 or $10, why should I be making it? But, I mean, remember, somebody had to make it before the people start buying it, $5 and $10. And if somebody is buying $5 and $10, if you have, like, five ten weddings going on on one saturday especially for my country i know when people get ready to get married on saturdays they, people get married man yeah so if you have like five weddings going on and maybe you're able to get contracts for them that's a lot of five dollars at least that you're gonna get for that saturday and so it all adds up And these are things that really help and go a long way. Eventually, you could just build a whole big business around it. So, that's why I don't just show people how to make it. I just try to encourage you by showing you how you can sell it or how you can market yourself. So, those are some of the things I teach here. Because I make them... And I have a Etsy shop. If you're in the U.S., you can sell, post them on Etsy. Or if you can manage to get a Amazon shop to sell on Amazon, you can go ahead and post them on Amazon. You can just make them and let Amazon fulfill them for you. When people order, you just you make your orders and just carry them to Amazon warehouse and they will do the delivery for you to people. Those are things you can do. You can sell them on Facebook marketplace. You can sell them I mean just a lot of places you can sell these things on offer up on a lot of marketplaces you can sell them and at least they will help you to generate some form of income. So these little things, let's not take them for granted. These are things that other people in their countries do. And yeah, 
they get some money and they go to work. People stand in factories all day just making these things. So once you're done pulling your gather, you want to make sure you tie your, just make a little knob at the end here so your gather doesn't unravel. Just try to form a little knob at the end. Okay, that's good. Do the same thing on the other side. And then we're just going to sew this onto the side. Like I mentioned earlier, I already made a detailed video on prepping your socks and how to attach your um, lace or tool to the socks. So I'm not going to be going through all that again. I'll just leave the video somewhere linked up in here or maybe down in the description. So you can check it out and you will see detailed instruction how to prep your socks and link your and attach your tool to your socks. So sock and for this part up in here somewhere just look there it might be there right now or look in the description too you're gonna see it so that's a more detailed one telling you how to do this you can just follow that it's the same process just so on and even though it's a different kind but it's just the same process to prep your socks you just want to turn your sock to the right side. Just turn it inside out. Now it's going to be on the right side. As you can see. Hopefully you can see this. Okay, I'm going to measure it away. Okay. So it's time to just fold it up. Here. See, we have a gorgeous pale princess socks. As gorgeous as the princess. It's so pretty. And that print too. Oh, me. Look at this print. Now, tell me this is not cute. Tell me you won't want to see a princess wearing this. So I just went ahead and closed the back here with stitches. I did not use glue like I wanted to. I just stitch it. As you can see. Okay. I just fold it over and stitch it down all the way to the top here. And that's our sock. So we can see you want to just go ahead just repeat the same process to do the other foot and you got your sock you got yourself a princess sock whether you're making it to sell whether you're just making it as a gift or whether you're making it for your baby you got one already it's just so beautiful